Hey guys, welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. We're on planet Quartu, this is the robot plant. Um, and apparently there were giant fighting mechs here or something? I don't know. Sounds awesome though, that's what the, the lone survivor of uh, the other planet said. So, yeah. Let's look at, ah, one second, I'm gonna kill these boxes and then we're gonna look at the map. So... Looks like there are three pathways we can go to. The close one's right here, then there's that way, which looks like the arena that was in the video, and then there's this weird, really thin-looking path. Uh, neat. We're gonna take the close one. I think, let's see if there's anything new. Uh, looks like it's still just a Tesla claw. Um, actually, you know what? I think, yeah, aside from the Tesla claw, the only other weapon we have to get is the Rhino, so we've actually... There's not going to be anything new in the vendors anymore, so, yeah. There's also one more hand item we have to pick up. That's, but yeah, we're getting really close to the end of this. Like, I think there's only maybe three more planets. So let's go ahead and just move up. And this, oh, it's a water area. Well, you know what? We have everything we need to make this Google. We have the... Whoa, oh, time, timed stuff. There we go. That opens up that door. And then there are, oh gosh, laser spider things. I don't know the technical word. Oh, and there's a bunch of lightning in this water. That's not good. Anything down here? Looks like no. I'm guessing you hit this and it's gonna be timed. Yep, we got a minute. We can do this. I have faith in me, I'm pretty awesome. Ah, just gotta avoid these guys. That, that is not avoiding these guys, hero. What are you doing? So we're gonna have to like, oh, there's a bunch of time stuff going on too. Ah. Yeah. Oh, it's really hard to judge the distance of the uh, spider laser bots because it's just like a straight line. I don't know. Not enough points of reference for the distance in my uh, vision, I guess. I don't know. This is just kind of creepy. Got 20 seconds left if that. I think we're at the end of this. Oh, oh, wrong way. Looks like there's an item up here. What is that? Is it like a belt thing? It is. Oh, yeah. Neat, what is it? The bolt grabber. Cool. This lets us grab bolts from a farther distance. Unfortunately, we don't have the box smasher, which is in the next game, which lets us just kind of do a ground smash and break all the breakables nearby, which is one of my favorite things in the games, because it just means all the bolts come to you, but, oh well, I'm not going to complain too much. So that was that path that took, like, what, three minutes? <laughs> not even that, more like two. Alright, so I guess now we just have to go that way. Oh, the door's open for now. Oh, there's stuff down here. Uh, what weapon should we, should we use? The blaster we have full ammo for. Oh, that's weird. I just noticed the... You have to hold the L2 or the R2 button to strafe. R1 and L1 don't do it, but at the same time, R1 and R2 are the crouch buttons, and L1 and L2 are the aim buttons, so they like... They map the, the secondary shoulder buttons to one effect when you're doing the glide, but n not when you're regularly walking? That's kind of... dumb. Okay. Uh. Hey, buddy. Those are those laser things from the last planet, Gorda City. Okay, there are bolts in this ground, and I want them. Because, you know, we have things to buy. Unfortunately, the Persuader won't affect the uh, nanotech machine, which means we're going to have to spend the 30000 for that regardless. It's kind of sad. Which means we need to get all the bolts we can get. Ah. Come on. Gotta find that one spot. Okay, so this is the third path. Yeah, we need to get another item to come back here to explore it later. Which is kind of sad. Because there's like an alarm. Oh, the door shut up on us, I just noticed. Or maybe it was just not in the field because of the draw distance, I don't know. 
Let's go this way. Hey, chicken bots, you suck. That was awesome. Like, that worked really way better than expected. Oh, it looks like there's a whole stealth section up that way. Interesting. Take these guys. I'm holding it down in case there's like another one, because as soon as I let go, I'm gonna have to use it. Ah. Okay, uh, what weapon did you get for this? I guess the blaster is good on its own. But it would be if these guys would stop shooting. You guys are destroying my health. Sir, I need that for... Did the this guy shrink a little bit? Oh, jeez. He shrunk and got immortal because I was shrinking, sucking him in with a suck cannon. And got hit while I was doing it. That's annoying. I didn't like that. All right. Maybe I could have hit him with the drone device or something. Oh, jeez. That went right through him. Rude. Hey, buddies. How about you guys do me a favor and don't, like, die? Or actually die when I need to be die, but not before. And there we go, with minimal damage done to me. <laughs> and there's some more metal detector action going on here. That's a door. I wonder how you open it. And there's a scientist over there. But more importantly, there are some bolts over here. So let's talk to this weirdo. Hey, buddy. Hmm, was it pi over infinity, or...? Hey! You need help fixing that thing? Actually, I'm trying to destroy it. Why? I was contracted to re-engineer me and Largen machine to create huge, heavily armed mechs. So that's where those mechs came from. Precisely. Had I known Drek was behind this, I never would have done it. Is there anything we can do? Well, if you'll volunteer to be enlarged, you may be able to stop those mechs long enough for me to sabotage this machine. And mm. then you will change me back? Uh, I've never tried that, but in theory, yes. Neat. Okay, so let's uh get enlarged. Oh. He looks like his legs have tires on them. <laughs> this is Giant Clank. Uh, you can see ratchets on his back. He can punch. He has missile things on his wrists now. And he can just kind of step on everything. Reminds me of the ATST from Star Wars Battlefront, except with better stomp ability, I should say. I think that's a word, right? Stomp ability? It's a word now. And we're just going to rake in all the bolts, break all the stuff. Unfortunately, that bridge over there was broken, which I guess was intentional to avoid having to you know, walk Giant Clank around the world too much. I don't like the aim, though, because like when you hit this, it's like it defaults where your Clank's in the way. Okay, so if you hit triangle, that happens. Works like a BFG in Doom. You can see the little red dot in the corner next to the health. That's the indicator of how long it takes to charge. Otherwise, we're just shooting giant robots. But you can see it kind of just destroys everything in the pad. Boom. 
Oh, this doesn't... Stop shooting me. Oh, the jump doesn't do anything. BFG! No real easy way to... Oh, here we go. If we back up a little bit, we can use the rocket's auto-homing, but it doesn't do enough damage compared to the punch. How do you like being shot with rockets, jerk? It'd be cool if the rockets would, like, home in on multiple targets. Is that it? Well that is it. Done. Now just step into the machine and we'll see what happens. Nice to have you back. I guess. Hey. I've recalibrated the controls to allow only your specific circuit pattern. Ah, Convenient. Perfect. I don't know how to thank you two. Maybe this will help. Oh boy. New! 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 From Gadgetron, the makers of weapons and other fine products comes the chickens. Hollow Guys. With <laughs> the Hollow Guys, you can fool robots into thinking you're one of them. Match your wits against other robots. Work on robotic assembly lines. Mm. Attend robot parties. The Hollow Guys. Available only at Gadgetron headquarters for a limited time. Not to be used for illegal purposes. We're only in sanctioned areas. You will not actually become a robot. <laughs> If I can get that thing, I'll be able to get past those robot guards. Robots are not so easily fooled. Ah, what's that? What? <laughs> uh-huh. It's a bowl of gullibility. So, I noticed that Ratchet was being kind of mean to Clank again, like, when he came back to size. He's like, yeah, I guess. And I was like, come on, man, you just got over that. I want to know how to open this door, though. I've never seen that port before. Like, can I... Go giant clank and then just bust the door down with my massive robot fists? I don't think so. Oh, are these guys just gonna spawn in now because of this? That's annoying. Like, I, I, I maybe going through the, the robot section, there's a button you can hit that opens that up, which I'm hoping, uh, hoping for. But we're not gonna be able to do that right now because we don't have the hollow guys. Oh gosh! <laughs> Big headed clank. <laughs> Alright, so... Now we've got the coordinates to Gadgetron HQ on Kalibo 3. Um, and this planet is actually really cool. It's it's largely unchanged from the reimagining, or rather the reimagining is largely, largely unchanged from this one. But Quartu didn't actually appear at all in the reimagining on PS4, which is kind of sad because it's a really neat planet. There was no giant clank anymore, but this arena is now open. Unfortunately, there's no arena combat in this game, so it's kind of useless. So I guess with that done, next time on Ratchet and Clank, we're going to go ahead Oh, we're going to kill these guys first for the second time, but I'm going to do it the nice way. Next time on Ratchet and Clank, we're going to head to Kalibo 3 and go to Gravitron HQ probably find some really cool stuff there. In fact, I know we'll find some cool stuff because I've played this game before. But yeah, that'll be later. <laughs> so I'll see you then, guys. Take care.